welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Sophie and today we're getting down to business with making a digital vision board. So yes, today we are going to make a digital vision board, manifestation board, like basically containing all your goals for 2021. So I have actually already created a video, if you haven't watched that I'll pop it on screen now, where I talk through all my goals that I want to achieve in 2021. I do give a bit of an overview in this video anyway of what the goals are and kind of bringing them to life a bit more and I've kind of like done it like the board is like a pin board. I wanted to create it to be, I wanted to make it aesthetically pleasing. I wanted to have colours and kind of fonts that I really enjoy. The aim of this is to actually print this eventually and get a kind of a free frame to pop it in and kind of place it in here so I can see it every day. I've kind of redesigned it, resized it for wallpaper here on my iMac. So that's already complete. So I kind of see that every day. And I've also done one for my phone as well. However, but it's just the case of resizing it. I've set this up today it's an A3 kind of portrait poster format so yeah give it a like if you enjoyed it it's just a little something different for me but yeah hopefully it gives you some inspo so I really hope you enjoy let's get straight into it so welcome back guys I am creating today my vision board using Adobe Illustrator you do not need access to this at all you can if you've got Word, PowerPoint, Canva whatever you prefer to use to create a digital board go for it as long as it pastes pictures spit text you know you're all good to go so I'm starting off with my title today 2021 goals I've kind of placed this using the branding that I've kind of used on my YouTube channel my social um, 2021 is a different font but I've kind of gone for that same style and using a couple of assets a little heart and a little plant that thought it was really cute and then I've kind of gathered together some images from my illustration Instagram page which is currently a bit dead guys I don't post on there I don't create any more work it's just I've let it die and that is something that I want to change I want to start illustrating again I want to build up and grow the page I thought that would be great so aiming for 2k followers I've been mean, I've pinpointed something down there I've got to commit now haven't I so place that in I have got a load of images at the side of this artboard I have kind of pre prep for you guys so it doesn't take even longer so I've got my goals in mind I've got some images and off we pop I've placed in some beautiful natural nails I would like to grow my nails I haven't had nails since like the age of 12 and yeah I just really want to paint my nails I'm not gonna lie so I need to grow them first and I've kind of gone for this lovely Polaroid style just to kind of keep it in line with my aesthetic I just want it to look really visually pleasing when I do eventually print it and I feel like I can get away with overlaying images make it look quite modern that's why I've used the Polaroid style basically I found some images here for weight uh, weight well, weight loss um, you know like working out healthy healthy lifestyle I found these images on Pinterest I thought these were really pretty they kind of go in line with my theme I've got going in here and they just kind of like show that goal so i have a goal weight and i would like to lose two stone by the end of this year um let's see how that goes um just want a healthier lifestyle all balanced you know treat yourself here and there but i would like to definitely lose two stone overall and then i'd be pretty happy chappy um i placed in this quote i can do this i'm doing this my body is losing weight right now and that's kind of going in with the manifestation of this goal so if you kind of speak about things as if you have them or you've already achieved them that kind of helps and goes hand in in hand with the law of attraction so instead of saying I want say I am grateful that I have this or I am thankful for this or I don't know like yeah just talk about things as though you've already achieved them or you've already got them and yeah kind of hand in hand with that so I would like to learn more about the law of attraction I do include that later on my board but I have included here 5k subscribers for YouTube placed in my little branding I've got going on which is just basically my name but it's in that like cute little font with the little assets of the hearts um, so I've placed that on there that's actually on my YouTube banner so I've placed that there with 5k subscribers I've got my goal I'm, I'm aiming for it guys if you want to help a girl out you know where the subscribe button is but I'm, no, I'm only joking if you like the content and you want to uh, I'm so grateful thank you but yeah don't feel obliged it's absolutely fine and that kind of goes hand in hand with working with brands that would be absolutely amazing if I could work with a couple of brands this year whether it's Instagram or YouTube that would be incredible and 
Also, I've popped down Skillshare. I hear people talk about Skillshare all the, all the time, so I decided to check it out in the last week. And they've got so many classes on there. I was really impressed. So, really want to take online classes and develop my skill set in my own time, especially with lockdown. I'm someone that has to be productive a lot of the time. I feel out, so I feel sluggish. I feel like I've just not achieved anything, and I just I like that sense of achievement, you know. I've also popped down a little MacBook here. I mean, I have a computer, I'm so grateful I have this. Um, but since working from home, because I'm in this same space all the time, like Monday to Friday in the evenings, if I'm editing videos, doing things for myself, I'm sat here and same on the weekends. And sometimes it'd be nice to just, you know, pop downstairs and I can move this, but because it's so big, I'm so terrified of breaking it. I'm so clumsy and it's a lot of, it's a lot of hassle just to move it up and down and it's not really, yeah. So, I mean, who knows, I would love to purchase one this year, so we'll see. I have got some pretty kitchens there and would like to move into a bigger rented property with my partner, Ryan, but I do, I am very aware that the kitchens will not look like that, but I mean, a girl can dream, right? A dream kitchen? I just thought I'd paste in some pretty pictures that I thought were incredible, and um, just kind of relate to the goal a little bit, so it's like a homey picture. I've also placed in to save an X amount of money. I haven't placed in the exact amount because I don't know how appropriate that is, but I've got a figure in mind and I've got a cute little doggy. Me and Ryan would absolutely love a red, go red golden retriever puppy called Cooper. Little boy, so that comes hand in hand with moving into a bigger rented property and it obviously needs to allow pets. So they come hand in hand with each other. I wanted to include them on here because that is the goal for the end of the year. We'll see, we'll see where we are. Um, stress and worry less because I am the biggest worrier, you know, I mean, I, I swear I never used to be, but maybe I didn't notice it as much, but the last year I've realized how much I worried about all sorts and it got out of hand, like really out of hand. Um, don't wanna be like that anymore. Um, and I've got this nice little quote here. It says 99% of the things you worry about never happen. And that is very true. You can, I don't know, your, your brain's so powerful. You can end up going on a tangent and thinking about and worrying about things that haven't even happened that probably won't even happen. So yeah, that's something I need to work on and stay calm. I've got a nice little calm picture here found on Pinterest. Thanks, Pinterest. <laughs> uh, thank you to whoever um, placed the images on Pinterest. Um, they've really helped my vision board look pretty. I've also placed a picture of my car. I mean, that is not my a photograph of my exact car, but I do have a Fiat Punto. <laughs> so thanks for the person who owns this car. <laughs> but I basically want to drive more. And that sounds silly. I have a car. I hate driving. I hate, 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 hate it. I hate it. But I want to drive more. I want to gain more confidence. And yeah, I need to just, yeah, push myself. So it's going on the board. If I put it on the board, I'm committing, aren't I? That's that's how I'm seeing it. So I need to drive more with confidence. So that's, that's going nicely on the board. And um, I'm also going to place in a little picture of me and my fam or some of the family. <laughs> I really want to see family more this year. And obviously I know that's not possible. Well, it is possible, but I know that's all dependent on COVID and the situation. Obviously we stick to government guidelines and all that jazz, but I feel like if I'm putting it on the board, it might happen. Like things might calm down. I might be able to see them more this year, but we'll see. It's going on the board and it's nice to have a little picture of them all chilling there. Hi guys. <laughs> Swear less, placing that on there, good old potty mouth me, I need to swear less, it's just not attractive and I'm very aware of how much I do swear so it's going on there just to, just so I can look at it and be like yeah I need to, I need to do that because it's not good. Um, I also want to print more photographs because I've got a few frames around the house and there's nothing in them and I say this all the time but like yeah, I need to just pr I need to commit to the photographs and it's not even like committing I can change them out so I don't know what my problem is but <laughs> I need to I need to do that and it'll feel more homely then won't it just including and if anyone knows where I can get a frame like this with like I really want to do this like this picture um, the frame with all the black and white little kind of Polaroid style pictures in there that's beautiful so I do I do want to include that I want to pop that on my wall that would be beautiful so I've got last little bit of space on this board 
so I've got some beautiful law of attraction based quotes. I want to learn more about the law of attraction you see, so that's why it's going on there but they're also lovely quotes to look at so it's all happening for me, not to me. I am wealthy, healthy and happy, I said that the wrong way around but you know, you know. I am thankful for every day I wake up. So just practicing gratitude, it's something I want to do every day. I want to write down every night or every morning things I'm grateful for, even the little things. They don't have to be big things, just little things in life. So they're lovely little reminders there that I'm placing on the board. So again, a couple of Polaroid, well, I've got Polaroid style. I'm placing some of them in little circles just to kind of mix up the shapes. <laughs> It's just basically, it's one big pin board, but digital, isn't it? And then I've just popped in Law of Attraction, just to kind of just pop that next to the pictures there. And to finish off this lovely little board of mocked up, <laughs> um, I just wanted to pop in a few stars here and there. Not in every little space, just here and there, just to kind of tie it all in, make it look a bit fun, just to bring that lovely little element to the board, make it a bit more fun and exciting, so. my board guys I hope you really enjoyed watching this um, I'd love to see what you've created but if you did enjoy it don't forget to give it a like and subscribe if you want to see more from me you don't have to though <laughs> but yeah I hope you enjoyed it anyway bye